Oh, hello there. What do you want? Well, I suppose you want a Warcraft free video, that's what you want. Otherwise, what the hell are you doing here? This is, of course, Gagoo. I'm going to be a little bit quieter today because I have some relatives over. And they are taking a nap. They are relatives of the older kind, so I don't really want to disturb them. You know what I usually sound like when I'm shouting out my name, Gagoo. I go nuts. And it's really hard to actually not say Gagoo in a stupid way. At least for me. Looks like everyone wants to uh, share. So let's share the love. Let's see this one guy that didn't share. He's like, oh, I'm not sharing with you. Screw you guys. Nope, looks like everyone is feeling yes. it. Now don't be a greedy orc and tech to tier 2, even though I'm in a good position to do it. Don't do it. Just build grunts. Something Honestly, it's worth it in the long run. It really is. It's not going to hurt you. Mm -hmm. Only cost a few hundred gold, and you can do far more with those few grunts than you can yes. do trying to solo everything with a blade master. The only time it's going to be better where you go solo blade master and tech to tier two Ready is probably if you are able to harass like a god, and I mean get super lucky with just creep jacks and stuff like that. Otherwise, it's probably not worth it. Now let's turn the sound down a little bit. That should be a bit better, just in case I mumble sometimes, and I should be able to be heard. I'll have to check the video afterwards, but of course it's too late then. But I have to fiddle around with my sound settings quite constantly, because I use different microphones and such. Like I um, use my desktop microphone when I'm chatting to friends and stuff like that online, because I don't like wearing headsets for too long, because it just does my ears. and uh, I'm not a fan of it, so I wear this to record, to get better quality. For you! Otherwise I would use my crappy microphone where you wouldn't even be able to hear me properly. And I mean it is crappy. So maybe I should invest in a better one. But I suppose if I can just bear with wearing these headphones then I shall do. There's lots of nice green spots. Now where to start? I think I'm going to start up here and steal my ally's green spots. Because he's undead and he's not going to be able to do much about it because he's going to be so slow. Blade Master is awesome. Now you can just kill this creep here because he always drops a time. But what I'll probably do is just kill them both because it's not that it doesn't take that much longer to kill the other one as well, and it's a little bit of extra experience. It's only if you want to be super duper pro. In fact, what some blade masters do is they go, let me get, just get time. They sometimes go straight to this spot. So I'm actually probably going to do that. Is go straight to that spot and pick up the item there. But the only problem is, is if someone else has had that idea that's closer to the spot or quicker than you. For example, I've already spent a bit of time creeping that little green spot there. But if all else fails, I can try and find green spots around this map, so it's not gonna nothing's gonna be able to catch me off guard and kill me unless I come across four of them or something like that at the same time. It's unlikely they'll be able to do much apart from just hit me a few times. Hit me! So I should be okay. Now let's see if someone else has come up with the idea. Have they, haven't they, have they, haven't they, have they? No, they have not. Alright then, let's give this a go. What you tend to do is you actually tend to buy um circuit of nobility and then go nuts. Technically you can kill these two here as well, but I can always just get back because technically there's I keep saying technically a lot. Technically there's a lot of other creeps that are more worthwhile before killing those. There's your gloves of haste, good item for Blade Master. Now let's go to green spot up here, but I'm probably gonna still get hit by these stupid mobs. I'm actually gonna cancel that grunt and do a tech. Right, those creeps should bugger off soon. I'm hoping they should. Right, let it go. Just let it go. Oh my god, he's not letting it go. <laughs> what can you do? What can you do? I suppose I'll just kill him. But as soon as I go to attack him, he's going to run back. You watch. Ready? Run back. Run. Okay. <laughs> Don't run, that's alright. I prefer that. What the hell is wrong with these creeps? They are a bit buggy, of course, because... Ain't nothing perfect with the AI at this time of the game. I mean, it is quite old now, 10 years, so AI has improved a little bit. So I'm on the other side of the map, creeping their stuff. I guess I'll continue to do it. Don't really need any more grunts at this point. Oh, hello. What can we get here? Get a unit. Probably not going to kill your paladin, but I might be able to get a unit. And if all else goes wrong, then I'll just kill these mobs whilst he's running away. He might come back, but he's not going to be able to do much. And then I'm going to run away. Is he? Does he want to fight that? Because I wouldn't fight that if I were you. It's only one grunt and you're not really going to be able to kill it. 
I'm not going to be able to kill much of his either, but I don't really want to build any more grunts, but I feel like I have to build something, so far as it is. You're not going to kill it, mate. Let's just kill this. Um... Oh, hello. He is going to kill it, because Orange has decided to turn up. That was only a matter of time. And Blue as well. Hello. Blimey. Everyone's coming to join the party. I should really just misguide them then, shouldn't I, really? I've got three armies on top of me. There's no harm in it, is there? you got to think of it that way, and hopefully your allies are good enough that they can capitalise on the fact that you're distracting several armies at the same time. Oh, hello, look, this is pretty fortunate. Should be able to kill a couple of units before I have to TP out. That's annoying that that tower has upgraded. That is very annoying. I could sacrifice and try and get the mine. Not going to be able to do much at this point. But since none of my units are going to die just yet. Now this is slowing him down quite nicely. Oh, he's being fed. He is being fed. So that means the guy here is probably a feeder. Just my assumption. So we're going to want to get some strong units. Probably tech again. Probably lost my grunt to just mass death call because that's about as skilled as it gets for death knights. It's pretty much another reason why undead is incredibly easy in this game. So we got a feeder basically, so we should attack soon. Because the feeder isn't going to have any time for units. Not yet anyway. Let's check this spot. But yeah, I think that guy is feeding. We can't do much damage. Especially if we're going to get a little bit ganged here. Don't want to block his units if I can help it. They've got several undead, so probably killing the Blade Mask, uh, Death Knight might not be the best idea. Obviously my grunts are going to get focused a little bit here, so you've got to keep an eye on that. Then my Blade Master is going to get focused, so he gets into invisibility. I've not really got many units I can do much with, so it's just hoping that my ally can do something. You know what I haven't bought? I haven't bought myself one of those Fudu lounges. So I'm going to go harass. And see if I can find something. Hopefully I don't find anything at all. Otherwise that means there's another base we're going to have to deal with. Okay, I found something. That's not good. I'll just do what damage I can do until they TP or get there eventually. And then decide to send me away. Now, Teal is there. Let's see if we can get that guy. That won't kill him, but that will annoy him. And this is going to annoy Green. Is he going to bother to TP? Because he's busy down here, so he might leave this alone. This is free experience for me. I feel like I want to build a Grunt, but I can always save. I'm nearly Fortress. Hopefully we can hold out just that bit longer. Going to lose this Grunt, so I'm not even going to bother trying to save him or run him back. Because he'll just get death coiled. Just let him do some damage to like that. It's no point even bothering. Honestly, is isn't. I know the game too well. It's not going to happen. Now we can get this Death Knight. Without losing the grunt, hopefully. The grunt will probably die, but the longer I can keep it alive, the longer it's going to slow them down at any rate. That's a good move by him, surrounding me there whilst I wasn't paying attention to my base. Nothing we can really do to kill this death knight, but we can just keep trying to annoy him. Best we can. He's going to go into his knight off base and get all his health back, so that sucks. Plus his knight off, his ally is going to hurl him uh, back. Because you're not going to get anywhere doing that kill. Get my hero back. Going to want some Tauren soon. So we can just hold out until I can get Tauren. And I should be able to do a fair bit of damage. But of course, Frosty is going to come along. So nothing is good is going on in this game. Because they've got expansions all over the map. So I have to hope that somewhere along the line, it's going well for other allies. Because right now, I haven't got an expansion. They've got expansion there, there, there. They've got expansions left, right and centre. I don't know how they're getting away with this whilst having a huge army at the same time, but they are. So somewhere, someone is dropping the ball here. And I'm not sure who it is. It could be me, but I don't think it is. question is, is it's obviously Green Fiend. That's handy that I've got Grunt there, to be honest. Kind of forgot about him. He's going to serve some sort of little purpose before he gets spotted and killed. Actually, what I should do is... Unfortunately, I'm going to need... Okay. Now, we're not going to be able to hold out very well here. Okay, never mind. That's not a major attack. I thought it might be a major attack. Now, both my things are going to come up. I want to build units, but of course, at the same time, I want to get myself a town hall. Because that's going to help me a lot. 
So how about inventory being full? Well, that's no good, is it? Now, I want to ignore them as best as I can. As much as I want to help him out, I've got this tiny great hall now in my inventory that's doing nothing, and these peons that are going over here doing nothing. So the longer this goes on, the more this is detrimental to the entire team. Well, if he's unsummoned that, just back then, just back. You're not going to get anywhere doing that. Oh, alright, that's nice. I can't actually build the uh, town hall because I'm surrounded. And now those creeps are going to get in the bloody way. Great. Right, anything else you want to get in the way whilst we're here? Oh my god, that grunt has been there the entire time, can you believe it? That is like, oh, that's bad on them. They don't deserve to win now, just purely because of that. <laughs> that guy needs wood, well, so do I. I've got F all. I mean, literally no wood. If someone's got loads of spare wood, that'd be great. What are these guys doing? I don't think anyone's lost any units majorly yet. Now we want to try and kill these expansions before they can capitalize from them. Things like just constantly harassing, going back and forth, you know, keeping the uh, annoyance factor up as best as possible. So these guys are going there. It looks like it's going to be a big attack to be honest, so I might want to go back to base at this point. I haven't got as many units as I'd like, but provided we get a good position we could do all right here. Don't know why you need to tell people to repair the main because that's pretty obvious to be honest. Come on, any torrents coming out? No, there is not. So let's TP. I probably should have TP'd about here, but that will do. Let's see if we can take one of them out of the game straight away. Or make him TP, force a TP. Get that, his guy to attack, that would be nice. Come on. He's not going to TP. That's a good ally, to be honest. He's sticking in there to the bitter end. It's sort of a good ally. It's a good ally if the game is definitely won. And you'll be selfish to TP, basically, in my opinion. But if the game's lost, then you're screwed because you go and lose all your units as well. That went pretty well by the looks of it. All I need to do is get myself TP. Oh, I've got, still got this spare grunt. Can you believe it? He's not going to be able to do much here, but I might kill this wisp and then send him back up there. Come on, he wants to buy a TP as well, looks like we can both afford one, that's nice. So I'm not going to incringe on him, oh no. That's annoying, but if we attack here then maybe he's going to be forced to TP. No, he is going to have to TP, so he's not going to be able to harass me there. Where are my units, eh? feel like I'm lacking units. Where are my units? Where are they? Come on, let's see if we can get one. Oh no, he's going to lose his DK and he's going to TP. No, he's not. Good on you. Good on you. Got to remember, I've got to keep that Shadow Hunter alive unless I can pass this scroll of town portal over to him, my Blade Master. Because my Blade Master... There he goes. He's got it now try and get this DK that's out on the loose. You see? You want to spot that. If they make the mistake of going like that, then you want to take them out, basically. You always want to keep your heroes at the back. Regardless if you feel like you can tank a bit, don't do it, because people will just focus you like mad. Is this going mad, this game? Is this going bad? I can't tell. I've lost a lot of my units. Positions don't look great, to be fair with you. They've got shims. Great position, so... Probably going to lose him, unless I can get a heal on him. 
Something's going wrong here. We're having to back away like mad. This is a bit annoying. Are we going to just back? Because if so, then I'll just back. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're right. What? I'm recording at the moment. Yeah. As we know, ladies and gentlemen, it's very hard for me to play a game without getting interrupted. Very difficult indeed. Can't go 15 minutes without someone wanting something. <sighs> right, okay, well that went crap to be fair. But the question is, what happened to my grunt? He got killed. So that's the game over to be honest. Feels like I've got no gold coming in. That'll probably be why. That's a huge blunder on my part, I apologise for that. Part of the reason why I forgot that is because I got so focused on the battle. Oh my god, look at Red. How have they done this? They've done a really good job this game of just basically surviving and feeding and then having tons and tons of spare resources all the time. No Tauren coming through. Got a Spaz Tauren there because of that. TP round about now. Please. Can't even TP because he's building. Torrents are coming out in the wrong place. Let's see if we can take out that leech. Hopefully he doesn't get a coil. He doesn't get a coil. Now what's next? Possibly the Priestess of the Moon, but we all know that's not going to happen. Units are getting sliced to pieces. Blade Master is going to die because I've got no actual mana on him and he's out in the front. I think this game is over because it looks like they've got much stronger positions than us whatsoever. More units in general. They got away with a lot of expansions and didn't really get punished for it. So that's pretty unfortunate overall. Come on. Ah, oh, you got nothing good to build. I'm trying to heal up allies and stuff like that, but I have not been able to amass enough Tor in this game to have a large impact. I've always had just a few at a time. Bring him down. Alright, okay. Honestly, keep your leech back. And my Shadow Hunter should die very soon. No, this is looking very bad. We've got no spare units across the map whatsoever from what I can see. So, um, this is probably a loss, to be fair. I mean... It's been a good game, I suppose. I mean, they've done a good job. I don't know really where it went wrong, apart from obviously the observation that they got expansions everywhere and then they didn't really get taken care of. I don't know how they kind of did it. It's like he fed Orange so much and then Orange plowed it all back into the other guy he was feeding so he could get units really quickly back as well. Looks like he teched a tier 2 and then got his units. If that's the case, then yeah, you can, ex you can abuse that and you can actually do a really good job, to be honest, and get the most out of it. I mean, that actually works. It's a really strong strategy, but it's quite rare to get away with that kind of strategy in a um, 4v4 random. And this, of course, you know the guy. But that's us dead. Teal's doing a good job trying to stay alive. Torrent seem to don't want to build, even though I've multiple times gone to there to tell them to build, but they don't seem to want to always do it. They're starting to get more air. We need to back away from this area. Pink is gone from the game. There's no expansion there. Hmm. It's not looking too great, I'll be honest with you. Could do with things looking a bit more upbeat. But until we try and take out expansions, we'll get a lucky break with a few extra kills. Oh wow, level 6 and level 5, yep. Okay, that's going really bad. And my Tauren's still coming out in retarded places. They are, look at that. Now you've got a Tauren totem here. This is the problem with the AI, okay? Why does it put them at the bottom left? I think it's fixated so they come out the bottom left. Why? If there's spare bots spots here, build them there. Why? It's deliberately putting them in a place where they're not going to be of any use. Very irritating. Right, okay, so where are we going with this? Couple more of those, couple more of this. Blade Master's out now. I want to try and give him the ability to harass, so that's all you can pretty much do at this point in the game. Finally, can I get these Tauren out? Looks like I can, amazingly enough. Looks like that's going to be destroyed. Maybe send some stuff down here. I don't think I'm going to be able to repair this, not with two tanks on that. 
if he just killed that one tank, that might have been able to might have been able to do something about that. That's gone, to be honest, because they're all gonna gank. Look at that! They're all coming like mad. So I don't think we can do anything this game. It looks like we've we've been behind a lot of the game in all fairness and we have I don't see it going well and I just kind of want this to end now because yeah it's kind of game over so thank you very much for watching this one and I shall do another one straight afterwards and we'll see how that goes hopefully better than this game did I don't know what really happened across the map it could have been my fault but it just felt like one of those games where you just no you you feel behind the entire time no real reason for it just way behind. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Witty. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.